Now it's time to meet a new animal. The new animal is the mule. Mules are a combination of a horse and a donkey. Mules have long ears, a short mane, small feet, and a tail with a tuft of long hair at the end. Mules may be harnessed and used for pulling loads. Mules make a baying sound. Mules remain strong under harsh treatment and hard work. They were used for work in construction camps, mines, and military zones. Mules used to be used for farm work, particularly in the south, but not many are seen now. The Story of Melvin Mule Melvin Mule had one bad habit. No matter what anyone said to him, he did not pay attention. He would just say, Hmm? And pretend he was listening. Melvin Mule's mother said one day, Good morning, Melvin Mule. I have some nice mulberry muffins for your breakfast. Hmm? Oh. Yum, yum, yummy, said Melvin Mule yawning. I love my mother's mulberry muffins, he mentioned as he munched his morning meal. After breakfast, his mother said, Put on your muffler, Melvin Mule, and march straight to mule school. On the way to mule school, Murgatroyd Magpie flew over Melvin Mule's head. Hey, Melvin Mule, called Murgatroyd Magpie. Hmm, said Melvin Mule. I just found the mysterious map. I think it will lead us to some buried treasure. Hmm said Melvin Mule. Though he pretended he was not interested, it was pretty exciting to think of finding a buried treasure. Really, Melvin Mule? Pay attention! Will you help me find the treasure? Mmm, said Melvin Mule. Where is the mysterious map? I can show you if you follow directions. Do you see that old elm tree stump? Walk over it and I'll show you how to get to the map, said Murgatroyd Magpie. Hmm, hummed Melvin Mule as he walked to the old elm stump. Here I am. Now what? Turn to your right and go ten paces, said Murgatroyd Magpie. Hmm. Melvin Mule turned around three times and walked straight ahead. No, 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 Melvin Mule, you're not listening. Hmm. Melvin Mule mumbled as he turned right and counted. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now look under the truck, called Murgatroyd Magpie. A map! Melvin Mule shouted, A mysterious map! Open it! Open it! said Murgatroyd Magpie. Hmm. Melvin Mule 
opened the map. Well, I see a lake and upside down maple tree. No, no, Melvin Mule! Turn the map over! You are supposed to walk north from the beaver dam. As he turned the map over, Melvin Mule momentarily began to walk south. Go north, Melvin Mule! North! You're going the wrong way! Oh, north! Which way is that, Murgatroyd Magpie? Melvin Mule! You are just going to have to pay attention! The lake is right there! And you go north from the beaver dam! That means turn left! Hmm, went Melvin Mule, but he did not turn left. He was looking at the mysterious map, and he was humming, but he was not paying attention to Murgatroyd Magpie. No, not one bit was he paying attention. He did not turn north. And he did not turn left. He turned right. He walked through the mud and the mire. And all the time, he was looking at the map. And he made a terrible mistake. He walked into the... I know you will not believe it could be so silly, but that is just what happens to people who will not pay attention. Melvin Mule, he walked right in the lake. Attentive means listening and watching. We need to hear what God says in his book, the Bible. We also need to listen to our parents and teachers. Even a child is known by his doings. Proverbs 20.11 Mule reads, Mmm, Mmm, Mmm. M reads, Mmm, Mmm.